We're getting low down on this week's Backstage on Broadway in partnership with the Broadway Channel. And here to give us the lowdown on one of the sexiest musicals of the season, Tamsin Vidal. Well, we are going to Studio 54 on this week's Backstage on Broadway in partnership with the Broadway Channel. That's what the legendary night spot is home to the Kit Kat Club, the setting for the hit musical Cabaret. And cast member Bill Heck is going to show us a lot more than meets the eye. As we come into the lobby here, I know a lot of it is preserved from the original club days. Back in the 1970s, Studio 54 was the club, the mecca for disco, dancing, and decadence, an ideal setting for a musical about cultural decadence. Because the production that we're doing here is set in a nightclub. And not just any nightclub, a low-down night spot resembling a seedy cabaret in Berlin back in the early 1930s, just before the Nazis swept control of Germany. Originally, this was all one level because they wanted everyone to be on stage during the club days. So they built it up, built up the, uh, the platforms for the seating, built up the stage as we see it. Gives the, the feeling of a run-down seedy spot. This is not your top-level A-list cabaret. <laughs> This is the, the third-rate cabaret where the nastiest stuff happens. Cabaret in Berlin in the early 30s, late 20s, early 30s, was a real hotbed of excess, a lot of, uh, a lot of drinking, a lot of drugs, lots of sex. It was, it was the cultural hotbed of Europe. Plays a struggling American writer from a conventional background who sets out to have an adventure, but the adventure he encounters turns out to be devastating and tragic. The characters he runs into show him who he truly is. He comes to Berlin knowing he's bisexual. He's had uh, affairs with men before, he's had affairs with women before. Berlin, in fact, offers a more open gay community than most of Europe at the time. But it's a way that the, the, the rise of the Nazi party becomes extremely relevant to him. Suddenly he is uh, in a camp of people who are aggressively being sought out to ultimately be eradicated. While the days of Cabaret's cultural background are long since gone, they're not forgotten. Cabaret's still relevant because it touches so deeply on such a wide part of the heart of the human experience that anyone can recognize it. There's an infamous night spot in Berlin today named the Kit Kat Club, but it has no connection to the Kit Kat Club in the musical. For more exclusive interviews, head over to our website, pix11.com slash Backstage on Broadway. I'm Tamsin Fidel for Backstage on Broadway. And Cabaret looks like it's becoming a perennial favorite on the Great White Way. It's had four separate runs since 1966, racking up nearly 3,800 performances and counting. 